and let's say I want to export this same model or let's say this model, right? Let's I have created this structural model. So I want to export this structural model into the IFC or in, in any other file format. So how to do it? Simply if you go to the file format, file option, just click on export and here you will find some CAD file format option. So what exactly the CAD format? So here you will have the multiple options. Maybe the .dwg, then .dwf, .dw or .xf, .dgn, .obh, .obj, .acis and .stl. OK, so majorly or the commonly used file formats are uh, .dwg and .dgn. OK, so .dwg like everybody knows uh, about the AutoCAD and .dgn is uh, about the microstation. OK, so this two specifically you can export easily from Revit. OK, apart from that we have the IFC file format over here. OK, so if you want to export, you can easily just go to IFC file format over here and here we need to export it. OK, so right now I have two projects open with me. One is this uh, Merlin and one is a project three or the sample project what I'm showcasing to you right now that uh, massing. OK, so I want to export uh, IFC of this particular project. OK, this Merlin project suppose. OK, and then I need to do some settings. OK, so if you uh, click so here you need to give the file name where you want to save the file and uh, the current selected setups. OK. In which file format basically you want to export. Now, what is this IFC 2x3, 2x3, 2x4, okay, or IFC 4? Okay. So these are the kind of a, a standard revision or the standard uh, uh, what we can say standard update for the IFC file formats. Okay. So when we talked about IFC 2x3 coordination view 2.0, okay. So in this discipline, majorly all the 2D layouts and 3D layouts properties will be exported as it is. OK, and if you talked about like the latest revision of IFC 4, 4.0, so where basically you can actually export the individual IFC. Like if you see from the bottom, like building services, structural architecture. So right now I have the multiple models with me. OK, but if I want to only export the architectural property, so then in that case, I will select IFC 4 as an architecture. If I want to export only the structural or the building services, in that scenario, I will select the concerned pro uh, properties like IFC 4 structural or IFC 4 services. OK, and one more thing you will find under this IFC coordination view. OK, the second option. So when we are doing or conducting the BIM coordination meeting. In that scenario, in one single file, you will get all the prop properties. Maybe the 2D layout, 3D element properties. OK, the coordination properties, what we have saved in the particular Revit file. Everything, all the views, all the set of files, all the sheets, everything will be properly captured or transferred to the particular IFC files. OK, so these are the different types of sessions or different types of export uh, file format for IFC only uh, we are like using. Okay, it totally depends on uh, your requirement. What exactly you want to view, or what exactly uh, you want to import it uh, inside the Navishwar. Because ultimately, this IFC file for formats <clears throat> more commonly were importing inside the Navishwar only. Okay, or the Maximax suppliers uh, will review your data in any of the CAD software just for the reference purpose. <coughs> Clear? Yes, sir. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. But what about other? Yes, sir. Clear. OK, good. OK, then. About the NWD, so right now I don't have that set of file uh, where I will directly convert the NWD. So if you go here, export. 
So here you will find one option export as NWO. OK, or NWC options. So basically for that we need to install one add in tool. So add in means it's a free of cost add in is available. You just need to uh, install this. So automatically here you will find the option as a NWC. So it means from Revit you can directly export the file as a. NWC file. OK, so this is the one way. The alternative way should be like uh, if you have a .rvt file and you're opening that RVT directly into the Navish work. OK, so automatically it will get converted as a dot NWC. No need to. Export the file as a dot NWC. So if you are importing anything inside the Navish work automatically dot NWC like as I told you this is a kind of a cache file. OK, so cache file will get created. OK, let's say if you want to import uh, AutoCAD file in Navish works automatically. NWC will get created as a backup file for the AutoCAD file. So if you're importing something about dot DGN into the Navish work, so automatically dot NWC will get created as a backup file. So this NWC is kind of a cache file, so no need to export it. If you are importing something directly, automatically NWC will get created. OK, and uh, about the CAD software, so if you see here, this kind of a different uh, softwares will be available as a CAD. In terms of a dot DWG, then DGN. So this is more commonly used and all others. <laughs> 